Prince William admitted he was torn over Kate Middleton's dad, might say no. Prince William once admitted being torn over Kate Middleton's father Michael, and confessed to fearing that he might actually say no. Prince William fulfilled a three-year promise to his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, when the family headed to Jordan on holiday earlier this year. The Cambridge family had been pictured at Heathrow Airport during the half-term holidays, but their whereabouts remained unknown. The recent publication of the family Christmas card, however, confirmed they had jetted off to the Middle East. The adorable snap showed the family in summer outfits, with William and Kate putting a hand on each other's legs. Kate spent two years living in Jordan as a toddler in the mid-80s, where her father Michael worked for British Airways. When William made a five-day trip to the country three years ago, he promised Kate that they would return. Kate could not attend at the time as Prince Louis had just been born. William and Kate marked their 10th wedding anniversary this year, a marriage that had been long in the waiting. Besides a brief split in 2007, the couple had been dating since 2003. Upon announcing their engagement in November 2010, Prince Charles joked, they've been practicing for long enough. Camilla, meanwhile, said the engagement was the most brilliant news. The Queen, too, said, it is brilliant news. It has taken them a very long time. William was asked at the time why he had waited so long to get down on one knee. He quickly replied, laughing, I didn't realize it was a race, otherwise I would have been a lot quicker. I was torn between asking Kate's dad first, and then the realization that he might actually say no dawned upon me. So I thought if I ask Kate first then he can't really say no. Rather more seriously, he explained he had wanted Kate to experience royal life before asking her to marry him. He said, I wanted to give her a chance to see in and to back out if she needed to before it all got too much. I'm trying to learn from lessons in the past and I just wanted to give her the best chance to settle and to see what happens on the other side. Upon announcing their engagement in November 2010, Prince Charles joked, they've been practicing for long enough. Camilla, meanwhile, said the engagement was the most brilliant news. The Queen, too, said, it is brilliant news. It has taken them a very long time. William was asked at the time why he had waited so long to get down on one knee. He quickly replied, laughing, I didn't realize it was a race, otherwise I would have been a lot quicker. I was torn between asking Kate's dad first, and then the realization that he might actually say no dawned upon me. So I thought if I ask Kate first then he can't really say no. Rather more seriously, he explained he had wanted Kate to experience royal life before asking her to marry him. He said, I wanted to give her a chance to see in and to back out if she needed to before it all got too much. I'm trying to learn from lessons in the past and I just wanted to give her the best chance to settle and to see what happens on the other side. William has been acutely aware of the mistakes made by the firm in years gone by, particularly those his father made, according to royal author Robert Jobson. Writing in his 2006 book William's Princess, Mr. Jobson said William had learned from Charles and Diana's unhappy marriage. He wrote, William has already proven himself determined not to make the same mistake. A source told him, William is acutely aware of the past. He knows that his position brings with it real difficulties with one's personal life. He knows that his father made rather a hash of things, and he is determined not to do the same. He and Harry think it is good that their father has found contentment in later life, but knowing the heartache their mother suffered they don't want to suffer the same way. Both of them are determined to marry for the right reason, for love and love alone. Mr. Jobson added Charles's parenting style 